Hey guys, welcome back to the episode number 3. So today we will be learning how we can submit our post request to get our settings or submit our settings options. So let's get started. Alright, so let's go back to our code editor. And at first let's create our creatable function so that we can create our uh, post request. So we need to add or pass another array here. Let's just uh, copy this keys and what we actually need we need to say here in place of readable we need to say createable like this so this will allow us to submit some uh, request like post okay so that we can post our data now if you are wondering how i am uh, getting those readable creatable this uh, how i am knowing these things so actually i am recommending you to search for this uh, wp rest server into our into the google and then you will find this class and I, I highly recommend you to just go through this class what it is saying to you so here actually uh, from the beginning you can see at a glance that re readable actually accepts only get and this creatable is accepting only post we do have editable in terms of post put or patch and we, we do also have a deletable which will accept this delete so and the allow methods are actually get post put patch and delete so that's what actually we need and if you want you can go through this class for for sometimes to understand things better okay so let's go back to our code editor now and we need to change uh, this uh, method so we can say create items and let's say for now for the sake of this tutorial we are say, uh, saying or we are giving the same permission for both the get and uh, create items so now let's uh, create a function here which will allow us to uh, you know say, uh, submit the request so you can say create item response here and let's do public function create items and of course it will take request as a accepting parameter all right all right so generally we actually dealing with three things we are going to submit first name last name and email which will actually or which will should come from this request and because we are submitting a form and grabbing those values and then submitting with this uh, request or uh, passing this through with this request variable into this method so because we are not having created our forms or submitting it anything we are just uh, getting ready our projects by creating this rest apis so that we can work it directly okay so let's uh, say for now first name and we are just giving giving a value hard coded okay and last name do and also we can say the email uh, will be this one okay and let's just not like this align those things all right also finally what actually we will do we will update these values and save this into the options table so for that we can say save options data into wordpress like this option data into wordpress okay so now uh, we need to use this update option uh, where we will be saying like like wp vk uh, settings let's say first name and we are using this wp vk settings as a prefix so that it will not conflict with the other things and let's say last name also email all right now we can pass these values all 
first name we will of course send it as this value later but let's first uh, get done with our rest response okay so when uh, these updates are gonna done we can just send a success response to the route so that we can understand okay this is updated successfully so you can say just say insert it or we can say like true as well and we can say return rest ensure response like this response so what actually we are doing we are uh, let's just uh, recap we created a method which will allow us to post a request and this is our create items which is hooked here and then we are just uh, giving some static values here and saving those values into our update options and if it gets saved then we are actually returning a response actually we are always returning a response because we already we all know that that will be updated and we are sending this rest ensure response so now it's time to check with our postman so let's open our postman okay so this is our postman let's open another tab just copy this url because the url is same but the request should be post so hence we are actually uh, giving this value statically so we do not need to pass anything from this body but we will test with it later also so let's click on send and our expected result should be true yes so as you can see it is returning true that means we can say this has been uh, updated so for that we can also test like this if we can say get option and passing this first name here also for the other two's last name and the email you can say last name and of course email like this so this should return whatever updates right so if we can click on send and sure enough it is giving us these values so now if we want actually we can pass the values from this body with the postman and we can receive those from the request and then we can replace these static values with our dynamic value which will actually final final version in the final version these values will come from or should come from this uh, the form okay so what actually we can do we can say request not response but request and let's give the key name as first name and also let's right request and we can say last name you can say request and the email like this so now we will grabbing those or we are grabbing those values dynamically from the postman's body request so you can say here first name and let's let's say jane again last name let's say do and of course email we can say jane at gmail.com now if we send this request with these values then we should see the updated values here so if we can click on send yes as you can see the value has been updated with our latest data so now we are sure enough that we are getting these values from this rest api post response or post request and getting these values dynamically now the next thing what we will do we need to actually sanitize these values because we never trust the users values and you should never do that so what we actually can do we can say 
is set if this value is set then we will pass this value to sanitize uh, text field that is a function that wordpress provides uh, it is text field by which we can sanitize our text input input values okay so if it is set then we will grab this value by sanitize that value otherwise we will submitting blank so that we can grab grab this and just place it here and place a first name we can say it last name okay mm, yes uh, but for the email we need to do it a bit differently because it's an email so we can say is set if it is set then and uh, not then and we are checking that it is email format or not it is also a function that wordpress provides and then we are sanitizing the email from the wordpress function sanitize email that is okay if all that passed then otherwise we will assign a blank value so this is just the basic sanitization that wordpress provides and we all should use that so now we can say our value is pretty safe so let's try with another thing uh, let's say adam okay and also say adam uh, let's put this to smith right so adam smith and adam gmail so let's click on send and sure enough it is changing all right so let's go back into the code now if we remember if you remember the last video we actually get our response from a fake or static values that we actually given but we do not uh, we do not do that right so we need to get these values from the get option because we are already saving those values in somewhere in wp options right so we can do this and uh, let's just copy this one and like this like this and we need to change those option names all right so now if we send a get request we should not get this that is static value we should get the latest value right so if we go to the postman and this this is the tab so previously we are getting just john john doe and j doe email something but now if we send this request get request we should get the latest response but here is some okay we have misspelled this so it should be get option not otp on all right so let's send it again and as i have said we should get this latest response okay so far so good so into the next video uh, what we will do we will start populating this admin.php which is totally blank and we will start creating our admin menus and also we will talk about uh, the laravel mix into the previous um, into the next episodes that how we we just install it right if you if we go to this package dot there's uh, package dot json and this is the laravel mix and we have just a, f a file called webpack dot mix dot json so we will discuss with those letters because i'm not uh, explaining everything in a single video because it's not uh, it is hard to consume everything at a time so we will explain or we'll learn uh, how we are going to use these packages when we are going to that particular tasks only so but no, for now let's say everything is there okay so for future use everything is there and we will be learning everything task by task when we go to that task we will learn about that particular things okay so into the next video we will do that we'll deal with this admin.php and creating those menus and uh, and the other stuffs other necessary 
uh, resource that we need to include in terms of JavaScript and CSS and CSS and all those stuffs. So see you in the next video.